In this video, we're going to do an example of the third type of proof over sets. That's algebraic proofs. So again, we've talked now about element, the element argument. We've done some examples of then proofs. Now we're going to look at algebraic proofs, which as this says, can be devised directly from existing properties. What existing properties? These existing properties. So we can use these various laws uh, of set identities to solve a proof, solve a problem algebraically. So for example, if I'd like to prove the set A unioned with B minus A is the same as equal to A union B, I can solve this algebraically. So I'm going to start with one side of the equation. I do not want to write the whole equation out because that is supposing what we're trying to show. I need to start with one side here and modify it to get it to look like the other. So the first thing here is I'm going to note that we've got this set subtraction. If you go and take a look back on this page, we see the set difference law that we can use to simplify that. So I'm going to use this law. So this is equal to A union B intersect A complement. And this is by the set difference law. So now I'm noticing that I have an intersection in parentheses and a union, union with A outside of parentheses. If we come back here, that's going to look a lot like this distributive law. Union form. So that's what we're going to use next. Okay, so I'm going to distribute that A, and I'm going to have A union B intersect A union A complement by the distributive law. And now... If I take a look at this part right over here, A union A complement, if we come over to this portion, A union A complement gives us the universe, universal set. So I can say this is A union B intersection with the universal set. And this is by the complement laws. And now I can look at this intersecting something with the universe, or universal set is right here. And you can see how that just gives us whatever our original statement set was. So this is four. Well, this is exactly what we were trying to show. So our set is done, our proof is done. Now notice, this is very similar to what you've done before in algebra, except in algebra we're so familiar with the rules, the distribution and complement, um, you know, all of these types of rules, that we don't write the explanation. However, now, since we're dealing with sets, we're less familiar with these rules, I want you to always write 
the explanation. Why can I make go from one step to another? Justify it. Uh, now we're going to do another example. Okay, so here's another example. I want to do an algebraic proof. Once again, I cannot start with my equality. I can pick either side to work with. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to stick whoa, with a union B minus C for no particularly good reason. And uh, once again, we're going to use the definition for set difference, which says that this, this minus C, right, this A union B intersect C complement. And again, if you look this up, this is by the set difference law. And now um, I'd really like to use the distributive law, but the, this is in the wrong order. So if we go back, we can see the distributive law likes to have the single element on the left and the grouped element on the right. But notice that we can use associative laws and commutative laws to switch around the positions. So this is a step that some people skip. I'm going to ask you to use it in this class. Um, so before I can use the distributive law, I need to rearrange everything using the commutative laws. So um, I want to put this in this order. using the commutative law. Now, once it's in that order, we can use the distributive law and distribute that C complement. And now that we have it this way, um, uh, once again, now I want to use distributive law, not this distributative law. Good thing I'm good at math because I can't spell worth a darn. Distributive law. I want to do something about these these statements, and in fact, what I want to do is use the set difference law. But notice here, once again, they're out of order. Here it becomes a set intersect set complement. Here we have the set complement first, so we need to use the commutative laws again. go. And now once they're in this order, we can use the set difference law. And we can say this is A minus C union B minus C, which is exactly what we were trying to do. Right, that was our goal. Now, notice you may not always go straight from the beginning to the end, right? When you learn algebra, you didn't always go the right direction then either. So you're going to play around with this. And you may take some unnecessary steps and you may move things around. The goal is just to try to figure out 
how we can use these laws to manipulate this to get what we're looking for right there.